Jimmy, Jimmy. Tell me what's going on. Someone just tried to kill me. I know what time it is. Wake him up. Just talk to Theo. What are you talking about? He doesn't want to talk to me. What? Well, just put him on the phone. You gotta help us. Wait, 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 wait. It's been a big misunderstanding. No oh, misunderstanding, Bobby. Just talk just to Theo. Just put Theo on the fucking phone. Sweetheart, what just? Hey, look, let me handle this. Jimmy, you there? Okay. Me talk. This is Bobby. Okay? I play ball with your son. Who said I was doctoring the books? Because whoever it is is a goddamn liar. Someone close to me. What do you mean? How close? Jimmy. 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 Let's go. So it's just us. Yeah, us and the kids. Maybe that's not so bad. After me, I'm... Now you have the kids. I'm putting you in danger. Hey, hey, don't. We have to stick together. I know. We'll do, we'll do something. We'll sell the house. Sell the damn house. We'll go someplace. You can trace the house sale. Mm. You buy anything. You rent a video. You track the credit card. Everything's computerized. Your social security number. You could be in Iowa, and they can get your name from a Sears mailing list after you buy a freaking car nose.
just... What? Hey! What did you do that for? I was on the phone. Honey, I let him call Debbie. Did you tell her where we are? Yeah. Yeah, right after I called Theo. Sean, this is not the time. Hey, does she have caller ID? No! This is the plan? Stay in, in cheesy motels and eat junk food? That's the plan? Give Debbie the number? Staying another day. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. out of line. Maybe I didn't think it through, but I set up the business, not him. We've known each other all these years. You know he's been robbing me, not the other way around. I think Theo's time is past. Why not? You and I. We have enough loyalty between the two of us. Bobby. I've listened for all the good times, but I'm sorry. And don't trust me again. For both our sakes. Things just keep getting worse. There's got to be some way out of this. Someone we can call. Someone. It's okay. Just make it go away. Just make it go away. Just make it. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll fix it. Robert Francis Batten, A.K.A. Bobby Bats, Bobby B. Batman, career criminal, straight out of South Boston, three years in juvenile hall. Currently the president of the Steel Barrel Democratic Club, AKA the Donkey Club, local political group. And the funny thing is that the Democratic Party Association has never heard of you, Bob. And that of course is because the Donkey Club's a front for Theo Cruz's gambling, loan sharking and extortion activities. Theo Cruz, out of Charlestown. Just a couple of crazy mix, huh? What do you guys say, the rosary together? If you had anything on me, you would have already arrested me. Is that right? 
We got a 16 count indictment on you, Bob. We just didn't know where you were. And then bingo, you come walking in my front door. It's kind of ironic, don't you think? Without a lawyer? Don't need one. Really? We at the U.S. Attorney's Office, as well as my colleagues here in the FBI, were about to move in on your tired asses when Theo decided to kill you. Actually, we thought you took off on us, Bob. But we weren't worried, because guys like you always turn up. So arrest me. See, as much as I would love to do that, we want Theo more than we want you. No offense. But we don't just want him on some wussy little gambling indictment. We want Theo Cruz for the 1989 double murder of Longshoremen Association officials Fred O'Malley and Frank Gwynn. And I think you're just the guy that can help us. No, 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 no. Don't you fuck with me. Don't you fuck with me. You walked in here. You came to us, remember? Now you shit or you get off the pot or so help me, I will cuff you face down on this fucking floor right now. Bobby. Listen. We just want to get the guy that's trying to kill you. That's all we're doing. I was there when Theo Cruz told Jimmy Sticks to louder to cut Fred O'Malley's throat, but not enough to kill him. Then Theo put a handgun into O'Malley's mouth and fired three times. Theo then told Jimmy to hang Frank Gwynn by the neck from a beam. Again, not enough to kill him. Um, then Theo personally beat Frank, beat him with a tire iron until he died. How long did you beat him? Two hours. Just a couple of regular businessmen like anybody else, huh? All right. Sign this contract. Saying that you'll repeat that statement in court, and move you into a safe house, and from there into the witness protection program. Is there a choice of, um, do I take my family or? You know what, Bobby? I don't care if you bring your wife, your girlfriend, or a sheep named Virginia. We've told you before, she's not family. Honey, the federal marshal said stay away from the windows. God forbid he should be shot and this nightmare would be over. Please. He is my husband. We're a family. I don't know, who are we? Who, what, are, what are we? I, I can never see my daughter again or my grandchildren for the rest of my life because of that bastard. Shh, please, please, please. Come on, we said we weren't going to do this. Let's be nice. Just 
One last time. We have to go. Grandpa. They won't let us take anything with our names on huh? it. I'll keep them for you. Thanks. I won this one for debate. This one was excellence in journalism. Please let Sean stay with us. He's almost grown. Both children should live with us and have a normal life. They're here. Folks, you have one bag too many. No, they said seven. No, the suit carrier counts as a bag. And the puppy will have to stay. It's Danny. It's my puppy, honey. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay, honey. I'd like to ask you one final time to surrender any weapons you may have in your possession. Oh, my God. Frank, did you see that? It's okay. He's in front of the children. He's like a killer. Kiss me goodbye, Dad. Bye, Daddy.
Lou. I'm Inspector Steve Beck. Please come this way. Watch your step, please. Watch your step. Follow me. Susie has some candy. Make a grocery list and we'll pick up what you need. Let us know of any dietary restrictions. There's a few children's videos about the VCR. The video movie list is available on request. I'll give you folks uh, a minute to settle in, but we have limited time. We'll need to get right to work. What, what is what is going on? I'm missing uh, skateboard magazines. I'm missing some books. Oh, if your name was in them. But they're mine. Sometimes we can remove the name and then they'll be returned to you. Line, but if you need us, you just pick it up. All security measures are here for your protection. There is a surveillance camera in the living room and one in the kitchen. That's it. Be back in a minute. Hello? Just dump the whole package in because that's for. Introduce. Susie, we're not watching this stupid thing. We've seen it a million times. It's stupid. Well, she doesn't look like. 
like that now. Becky, come back out here. And stop biting this disgusting thing. It's gross. I don't know why you brought it. I told you. No. Water. Would you like some water? I'm not going to lie to you. This is one of the toughest things that you're ever going to do. I'm used to tough things. I like this. Welcome, people. You're in the Witness Protection Security Safe Site and Orientation Center, where you begin the process of redocumentation for your new legal identity. This is day one. You leave for your relocation site on the morning of day five. No extensions, no exceptions. Any questions before we begin? Where are we going? I'll get to that. We have loads to cover and an extremely tight schedule. Every day we're going to have very specific activities that we have to complete. Gourmet counseling. Where are we going to live? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? You know, just we're very anxious because we've been through so much. No, 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 I understand. It's, 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 you're curious. The contract in front of you is the memorandum of understanding between us, the U.S. Marshal Service, and you. In their fervor to get your testimony, the FBI might have made promises like a big mansion with dancing girls. The only real agreement between us is in that contract. I read it. And there are not any dancing girls in it. They didn't promise us any dancing girls. He's just making a little joke, sweetheart. Reed, sign and deliver by tomorrow. Then we can start the process of redocumentation for your new classified name changes. The new name you choose should be ethnically compatible with your own. Changing your first name is optional. Changing your children's first names is usually more trouble Look, than this work. When I ask an honest question, I want an honest answer. Honey, I think he just has a lot of information to get through. Seattle. You're being relocated to Seattle, Bobby. His information on Seattle, the schools, employment, Climate. I know the climate. It rains. Oh, look, Stan. Steve, honey. His name is Steve. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you know, that's a funny little speech you got there, uh, Steve. But, um, how do I put this? Fuck you. Not going to Seattle. You have a choice, one choice. You either roll with this program or you pack your bags and you leave, Bobby. If you spoke to me this way, out there. Oh, but we're not out there, Bobby. Oh, we're in here. And I did speak to you that way. I don't really care how many people used to jump when you spoke, Bobby Bats. It's not going to be that way anymore. It's not going to be the way you planned. It's raining whether you like it or not, Bobby. We understand each other. Seattle Art Museum and lots of trendy new stores are all part of an invigorated downtown. Our ports reach out to the burgeoning trade of the Pacific Rim, and our airplanes rule the sky, following the area's largest single employer.
Hey, how about Cooper? Nothing easy to spell. Collins? Banks? Not Banks. I'll fake a Robin one. <laughs> Smith or Johnson? Oh, they sound like aliases. O'Brien. Yeah. There's no cameras out here. Yeah? Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> I've been here before. Oh, really? <laughs> Who with Al Capone? <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad, is it? Kind of pretty. What is it, honey? What is it? Are you okay? Oh, my gosh. The bad man's gone. The bad man's gone. It's okay. Daddy's here. Cooper. Something easy, you know, not some Hungarian name that none of us can spell. <laughs> so we would be the Coopers, and uh, look at your face. And that would make you who? Susie Cooper. Good job. Right on, honey. Sean Cooper. Beautiful. Has a nice ring to it. Okay, so we're the Coopers, the Cooper family, and Dad's name. Is William, but we're gonna call him Bill. Can I still call him Daddy? <laughs> and uh, I'll be called Joan. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, no, I like that name. Joan, like Joan of Arc. I used to love her when I was a kid. Yeah, because she was nuts. She heard voices. <laughs> <laughs> in her brain. Maybe, no. It's good to hear you laugh again. Yeah, no, everything's great. <laughs> she gets to start off from scratch with Susie Cooper. But what about me? Steve said that he's going to transfer your grades under your new name. Just my grades. None of my extracurricular activities are going to be counted, right? Like editor of the school newspaper, like, like student government, like debate club. Look, Sean. Sean, come on. I know this is tough, but you're going to do well at your new school. You will. You will. You always have. You'll do it again. You know, they don't even have anything close to the level of the Latin school in Seattle. 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 Seattle is retarded. You know that one-third of Latin school graduates, one-third get scholarships to Harvard. One-third. And now I'm going to graduate from some crap public Seattle high school. And none of my teachers can write college recommendations for me, not for Sean Cooper. Who is Sean Cooper? Sean Cooper is nobody. Cooper, C O O P E R. William Joan J O A N. Right, yeah, and um, Susan and Sean. No, S E. Put a rush on the Why thing. is it that every time I call your state, I get the runaround? Thanks. I mean, I need the birth certificate to originate there. And, and I need it now. Thank you. You've had a guy who just rubbed his wrong way. Every friggin' day, champ. Incoming. Ramirez. I swear to God, this, this guy, he's, he's gonna set up a racket in two weeks' time. Uh, yeah. Hey, let the field agents deal with it, you know what? Just process them and forget about it. You know, maybe this guy could uh, fail his psych about. <laughs> 
Yeah, like Joey Grasso. <laughs> Guy had how many hits? <laughs> like butchered like 20. Yeah, no problem. He's mentally stable. Let's get him a job selling chairs at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> If I wanted to be dead, would I be here? Uh, too busy to get depressed, Doc. Too busy making money. How's your relationship to your father? What relationship? Last time I saw him was at my mother's funeral. Look, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. Some guys became priests, some cops. Like you, Stan. Steve. Steve, whatever. The rest went into the business, but I had nothing to do with my parents. Why do they call you Bobby Batts? It's my name. Batten. Bats. Nothing to do with baseball bats. Sports was never my forte. I meant on people. You know, that's all right. I want to... Be honest, that's what this is all about, right? When I was younger, maybe I was a little wild, you know? Maybe a few people thought I was little bats. But that was a long time ago. I mean, I'm a family man now. I mean, really. I'm in love with my wife, love my children. Everybody's happy. I mean, I, I, I'm very happy. I'm very positive. In a weird way, I think this is the best thing to happen for us. Kind of forcing Bobby to go legit. Don't tell him I said that. This is confidential, right? Look, I'm fine. It's, it's Susie that needs the counseling. This isn't counseling. It's simply an evaluation to anticipate any adjustment problems. Susie doesn't have to be screened. Adjustment to moving to the new city? It's, it's more like this, Joe. Can you... Can you love a guy named Bill Cooper who works the late shift at Bob's Big Boy just as much as you love Bobby Batts who wears Armani suits and gets out of Cadillacs? I'll always love Bobby. Money doesn't matter. I see you like getting your nails done. They're very nice. Yes, I do. I, I enjoy it. It relaxes me. What if, due to economics, you can't get any manicure anymore? You know, you can be very rude, officer. You think I'm pampered? We have money. We have money because we've earned it. We've worked very hard for it. But I would take the safety of my kids over money any day, any day of the friggin' week, and I'll clue you in on something else, Mr. Marshall. Bobby is not sweeping floors at Bob's big boy. The government will sell your house, two Cadillacs, all the furniture and the household items for market value or best price. They'll liquidate your assets and they'll deliver the balance to you once you've settled in Seattle. But due to what's owed on the second mortgage. We don't have a second mortgage. Due to what's owed on the second mortgage, the revolving credit line, the credit card debt of $80,000. When all is said and done, the U.S. Attorney's Office estimates your net worth to be at a $7,000 deficit. What? what? What What? credit line? Who came up with this report? If after the sale of your assets, a small debt remains, the U.S. Attorney's Office will pay the debt so that you can start out even. Is, is this a joke? I mean, is the government trying to pull something? We have stocks, we have mutual funds. This is ridiculous. Tell him. So what's our balance? Zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I know, I know, I know. It's stupid. 
cashed out the investments, and I put them in the deals with Theo. Legit stuff, but it's all tied up to the club. Daddy. Theo had financial incentive to come after me as well. Can't the Justice Department do Defense something? can't get any of it back. It's gone. Daddy. What are we going to do? Listen. Believe you didn't let me know what was going on. With the pressure, fine. I thought I'd protect you from this. This is protecting Daddy. me. Daddy. Thank you so what? 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 Susie, mommy and daddy are having a serious discussion. No. Don't yell at her. I didn't yell at Don't her. Don't yell at her. Look at the picture. She's five. Look at the I picture. I didn't yell at her. I'm just. Oh, okay. What? Picture? It's great, honey, okay? Now listen. Oh, Tell come me. on. Look what you've done. Oh, baby. I told her it was great. Hey, Sean! Shoot! Would you knock it off? I can't even hear myself think. Great. Let's yell at him, too. Great. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Someone give me a gun so I can blow my head off. You know, don't even joke like that. Who's joking? You had no fucking right to tell her about my finances. We have to be open here, Bill. Everything's got to be up front between you and your wife from now on. Bullshit. Okay? You don't tell me how to run my family. Yes, we do. In fact, that's a good definition of what we do do. We tell you how to run your family so you don't end in this situation again. Look, I could give a shit, okay? But Cindy's used to money, okay? She grew up with it. That was not the way to break it to her. I was gonna tell her in my own way. Thank you. We have a, um, we have an expression here. Readjustment of expectations. You know what that means? No. Readjustment of expectations means selling cocaine makes a lot more money than working nights at 7-Eleven. What are you talking about? It's a situation, Bill. It's a situation that requires some humility from you. So, you haven't held a legal job that you've actually worked since you were a teenager. You didn't graduate from high school. You have no office skills. The Marshal Service doesn't provide a false resume or work history or that is a reference. Terrific. And how am I supposed to get a job? Uh, I'd say your best shot is becoming a laborer. You work for a few years, you get a trade, then you become a skilled laborer, and then you can join the union, and you get some family health benefits. Not You're saying isn't. the best I no, can do is to haul, to do haul shit in a bucket, rain or shine? The pay is $20,000, $25,000 a year. Oh, I, I, we can't, we live, can't on live on that. that. That's why I've never but been in line to five We don't have any money. Nine to fivers don't get whacked, Bill. Joe. You took typing in high school? You were an administrative assistant at a law firm? Yeah, a thousand years ago, yeah. You take some uh, paralegal training, you can move that up to thirty-five, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. We threw a party last year that cost that much, man. Who looks after Susie while I'm at work? You're both going to have to work. Well, then look who looks after the kids. It's OK. No. Fine. Let's say I go along. Employment with... is mandatory. There is no if here. Fine, fine. I'm in Seattle with the lumberjacks with no work history for the last 20 years. Now, how do I get a job? You offer to work for free for a month. Show them what a good worker you are. Work for free. <laughs> Be serious. You're serious. That's your answer. This is the help the Marshal Service gives. We we'll work for free. Oh, were you expecting that the uh, taxpayers were going to pay you away for the rest of your lives? No, of course not. I, 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 <clears throat> but I didn't expect you to, to cut my legs out from under me. I built my business up from scratch, OK? I'm an entrepreneur. 
right? Now, let's say I start a new business, legit this time. What bank is going to give me a startup loan when I'm pumping gas with no work history? No bank. And my children are not going to see their father, some down and out loser. You think the government owes you a business loan after you've ripped them off for years? How long have you been working for the government, Steve? Are you happy with your Honda, your 80 grand a year, your pension? Well, that doesn't work for me. Okay. And this, this isn't working for me either. Now that's a private school, honey. We're not going to be able to sweep it up financially. And what about a great Catholic school? Ugh. All right, well, hang on. Steve said that this here was a great public school. Hey, who ate the last of the chocolate chunk cookies, huh? Who ate the last of the chocolate chunk cookies? Yeah, yeah, I took one, but it wasn't the last one. Hey, look, you take a cookie, there's none left, that's the last. I don't know, maybe. Maybe you're a snake. It was a cookie. I didn't know it was yours. I'm watching you, Sean. Wrong, Bobby. What, no clubs around? No friends to blow drinks on? No young guys to show off to? There's no deals going down. No horses to bet. No card games to lose. Because there's no money to flush down the fucking toilet. It's all gone. So you're stuck with us. So get used to it. You don't know what I've been. We're through. poor! That's what I know. That's what we are. Sean? Susie, Sean. Come here, come here for a second. Susie, hey, Sean, come on, join me, join me. Today, we tackle role playing with our new identities. Bill, Joe, ready? Like we said, I'm a neighbor over for a barbecue. Joe, you ready to go? Let's just have some fun with this, okay? Susie, you know what we're doing? It's pretend. That's right. It's make believe. Okay, Joan? He called mommy Joan. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I can't believe we have to call her Joan. Hey, sure. Did you help your, your dad with the barbecue? Hey, Bill. How's it going? Hey, kids. Joan. Where are you folks from? Uh, sh Chicago. Chicago. Chicago? Mm -hmm. Used to be on a route of mine when I was a salesman. Oh. <laughs> what beach you hang out at, Sean? Uh, just the one on the coast. You mean lake, don't you? That's right, the lake. That's what I meant. Well, we brought you to Seattle. Um, the rain and the coffee. <laughs> and Bobby was, uh, Bobby. 
B B B Bob was his uh, middle name. I used to <laughs> call him when we were dating Bobby Beth. Cooper. B Bill Cooper. <laughs> I, I used to call him Bob. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. How's the new school? It's great. It's great. What school did you go to before, Susan? St. Anne's. Where's St. Anne's? West Roxbury. West Roxbury? In Boston? Yeah. Well... That's it. I'm not testifying. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's calm down. Calm no, down, no, all right? No, no, no hard feelings and cut that bill crap. Hold on. I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to give yourselves away. Look, I don't, I don't care what you're trying to show us, okay? I'm not testifying, period. Thank God. He's not testifying. Hey. Hey, Bill. Let's go, Cindy. Get Susie. Let's get packed. Let's get out of here. You signed a contract with the Justice Department. We have you on tape saying you witnessed Theo Cruz murder Fred O'Malley and Frank Gwynn. That carries the same sentence as if you killed him yourself. Plus the 16 counts of extortion and racketeering. You're looking at a life sentence, Bobby. I was threatened by you guys, coerced into saying it under duress. You put me in court, I'll deny everything. I'm not a snitch. I never was, I never will be. Fine. Fine. The length of the sentence doesn't matter because you're never going to make it to trial. You're going to prison, my friend, unprotected. And you think Theo Cruz is going to go easy on you because you changed your mind? You're a snitch whether you testify or not. He's going to make an example of you. In prison or out. You recognize your partner, Nikos the Greek Stefanos? We didn't. Not at first. His molars told us who he was. Hey, Bobby, we have 3,500 hours of tape on Theo Cruz. We dug this one up special for you. You recognize Theo's voice? Because I know Pat so many years now. He's going to screw up. does. I know, Bats. How many years? He's gonna screw up. I, I heard it, okay? He's gonna screw up. Why do you have my wife, dude? Why does she have to listen to this shit? Look at this goddamn garbage! Bobby, please, please. I have to be here. I have to know what's happening from now on. You don't think I know you set me up? You think I'm stupid? You were all over me and Theo. Surveillance, wiretaps, undercover guys infiltrating. You discovered what I was doing, then you let it drop to Theo that I was clipping him to force me into this situation. You don't think I know what you have done to me and my family? You motherfucker. I wish I did set you up, Bobby. I really do. Because I'd rub your nose in it if I had. But you're going to have to look elsewhere for the person that gave you up to Theo. Cleaning the fix, Bongiorno. Jimmy Chow. Jesus Lopez. Susan Fiore. These 30 witnesses who left the program all fell back into criminal activity and got killed. Without this program, you'll set up shop within two days. You'll naturally be drawn back into the, the business that you excel at. You'll be operating in the same circuit, 
Something will give you away. Word travels fast. Theo's men are in the, the bathroom stall of your favorite diner. You think I'm stupid? I think you're human, Bill. We will not protect your family. They'll still be in danger. Hell, Joan knows enough about Theo to turn evidence on her own. Oh, that's bullshit, Steve. You know that. Fine, that... fine. But does Theo know that? Hmm? Theo may just whack her to be sure. Or Theo might threaten her to get you out in the open. What, what the hell's this? Theo. Checking on Susie's school schedule. What? Along with Theo Detenikos, what would you do if you knew he had Susie? Well, Sean. Sean's talking to Theo. No, no. Uh-uh, he's just, he's just walking by. Oh, his mouth is open. No. He's just walking by. Bill, he's trying to save your life here. You want to live? Then embrace your family and learn how to live in this world legally. Period. Why you care? I don't care. Then why are you going to all this trouble to save my ass? It's my job to save your ass. That's a lie, Mommy. No. You, you, you said lying is bad. Well, it is. It is. But this isn't. This is more like, um, like pretend. Yeah, like a game, okay? And, and, and I, I think it could be fun. Will Daddy play? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And Shawnee's gonna play, too. But this is the tricky bit. Only we know about it, okay? Just our family, okay? So we're just gonna pretend that we're not from West Roxbury. I don't want to play this game. Honey, look at mommy. If we don't play this game, that bad man is going to come back. If we play make-believe, the bad man won't find us. That's right. Who's a Q? Okay. Okay. That's my girl, right? Don't forget. Don't forget. Okay? Now we're going to work on potential problems that we identified this morning. Okay? Sean? Bill? I'm sorry. I've always been a terrible liar play with your collar. No, I thought you did good in my other stuff. So hard. What? You do have a towel, Joan. You um, play with your collar, then you touch your neck. Now that you're aware of it, just make it go away. That's it. Also, Joan, and everybody, don't surprise the family with information that you haven't agreed upon, like, like you're from Chicago. Oh, right. I'm sorry. It was That's stupid. okay. It's it okay. It's just, it's just, you guys all know Chicago. Remember, less is more. You gotta become masters in the art of evasion. All right? What's the best way to sidestep a question? I don't know. Throw it back at him. What brings you to Seattle, Bill?
I don't know. I just got tired of winter. How long you been here? That's good. Hey, Susie. What's your mom's name? Joan Cooper. And your dad? Bill. It's short for William. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. It takes a lot of energy to lie. Uh -huh. So we want to try to do it as little as possible. Especially, Joan, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, just minimize the information that you give out. Keep the past really simple. Blend in. Ma'am, what's your name? Uh, Joan Cooper. Um, honey, you're doing that thing with your collar again. I can't help that. You gotta help it. You know, she wouldn't have to do it if it wasn't for you. All right? Remember that. What? What did you say? Sean, Hey, 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 stop. let's just, let's just, you know, keep focused here, all right? What did you say to me? Let's just focus on the exercise, okay? No, hey, what, what I said was, we wouldn't have to do any of this shit if it wasn't for you. We're all trying very hard here, so back off. Don't speak to your father that way. Stop yelling at Daddy. You think because these guys have me, you can just speak to me like this? Honey, he doesn't mean it. You don't tell me how to talk. You, you don't get to tell me how to do anything hey, anymore. Hey, 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 Sean, come on. Let's, let's deal with this later on, What, you okay? think now all of a sudden you run this family? You don't run this family. You have not been here. And we've been better off without you. You have not been here. The only thing you care about is yourself. You want to save your own neck. I wish they had shot you, because if they had shot you, then you'd be dead and we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. You wish I were dead? Huh? You thankless little prick. No! No, no, honey! No, honey! Stop! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. I am your father! I am I know you don't feel what I know you don't. Who are you? Crazy! You did it! You did it! You don't love me! You don't love me! You little fucking motherfucker! God damn it! I'm your father! I'm your father! No, no, no! I quit. I'm out of the program. I gave you everything you ever had, you spoiled piece of shit. It's all right. It's all right. Let him go. Stay here, okay? Stay here. I know you're upset right now. So why don't we just talk about this first thing in the morning? I'm leaving you. I can get you a single unit. You don't have to worry about that. No. I'm not afraid of him. And I don't want him alone with my mom. all. Nobody's asking you to. Yes, you are. I thought this would bring us together. That we'd become a family, a real family, like other people. I've never had one of those real families, so... No, we are. We're your family. And we don't have anything else now. We only have each other, Bobby, and now you don't even want us to have that. I don't know what happened. I... Christ, look at us. How we live. I've never been so embarrassed. Brow, you... Treat your son who loves you and wants your attention and you won't 
give it to me. I'm embarrassed for myself. For all the things I've done and all the things I didn't do and just pretending that this was all normal and now look where it's gone. Please, gotten. honey, please. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down after what you just did. I haven't got upset enough all these years. Shit, I put on. Look what us. Mommy, why are you yelling? It's, it's okay, Susie. What are you? What are you? You're the only one who can get upset. You're the only one can explode, Bobby. Take it out on other people. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now that you can't shove people around? You going to start pushing us around? You know I would never. Then I don't know anything anymore. Honey, please. Stay away from me. Mommy, don't yell at Daddy. I am a single parent. You couldn't tell me where Susie's playground is. You don't know one of their teachers. You have never been to one of Sean's debates. And now look what your son thinks of you. He wishes you were dead. Just sit and take it. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Kids for business, for Nico's for Theo. I don't want to go now. Let what go? You don't think I know where you were for Susie's third birthday party? I told you, me and Nico. You were in don't New York. think I find receipts for jewelry I never get? It's business. I swap merchandise. Shut up! That. Shut up! Do you think I'm an idiot? You don't think that rips my fucking guts out? <laughs> you think I don't know what you're going to do when we get to Seattle? Because you think you can fool these guys. You're going to go back to playing your old games. But you are not fooling me. Start making bets. What's wrong with that, huh? That's legal in Atlantic City. And I'll be running numbers. For some guy that needs a favor. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Please, I'm You'll sorry. You'll say it's that... for me. You'll say that I need a necklace or a new car when you know what I need. Do you know what I really need? I love you, Cindy. I love Cindy, you. I... Oh! I'm going to wind up all alone out there. Alone at night in Seattle. Telling everybody I'm someone else with a new name. I'm the same stupid, stupid. you do you told Theo
morning. Did a package come for me? Not yet, sir. Hey. You okay, baby? No. Not really, Dave. Not really. Sean, you leave and we can't protect you. These are children of the witnesses that left the program. I'm going back to Boston. I won't let you, Sean. I won't let you. If you go back to Boston, your family can't go to Seattle. They have to choose new names prepare for a new relocation area. I want to make sure you understand me, Sean. You go back to Boston. The next time you see your mother, maybe at her funeral. You may never see your little sister again. Are you absolutely certain, Sean? Going back to Boston. Okay. <laughs> we'll ring the apartment tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Say your last goodbyes. Lock up the door. That's it. Sean? I strongly advise you not to force him to go with you. You'll always regret it, and it'll tear at your family for the rest of your life. Look, Sean is a minor. He has to come with us. I can't live the rest of my life without seeing my son. Do you understand that? Now open the fucking door! Sean? Sean? get to Seattle. If things don't work out, can I leave? Can I take Susie and go back to my parents? If you leave Bill in Seattle, you're on your own. You can keep your identity or not. You'd have to relocate him, change his name again. I mean, I try to help you as much as I can, but you leave Bill, you leave this program. You submitted the alternate names of James and Margaret Stratton. Does Sean know anything about that? Okay. Okay. Change William Cooper. William Cooper to James Stratton. James, right. And you need to change Joan Cooper to Margaret Stratton. Margaret Stratton. Stratton. We got the okay. Without Sean, we move him to Phoenix. Champ, I know the superintendent in Phoenix. I can hook you up with the school records, OK? Great. Right. No, great. Yeah, great. Thanks. I, I, I need this. I need it yesterday. What's up? It's an idea. Smoke shot.
then uh, the Greek, uh, Nikos, tells me that Bats is holding out on me. So what happened? I'm a moron? I'm supposed to believe the Greek ain't in on it? How else would he know? You see what I mean? No. Nikos didn't think it through, my friend. Your partner Nikos told Theo that you were fixing the books and holding back money from him. It was your partner who gave you up. You heard it right here from Theo's mouth. Not Sean, not the feds, not Cindy, Nikos. He thought he'd be rewarded for his loyalty. He was mistaken. It cost him his life. Now, Nikos, he fucked you over. You pay for that. That's done now. There's no revenge here. You're the only one screwing yourself right now. Your family, they're the only ones in the same situation that you are. They believe in you. They followed you here. They're the only people that you can trust. Can't you see it in your little girl's eyes? They're giving you one huge chance to unfuck yourself. Bring them with you. Hmm? You don't like us anymore? Well, of course I do. It's just that I'm grown up now, and it's time for me to go. You'll come for my birthday, right? Mm. No. I'd like to, but I don't think I can. Okay, bye. I understand why you think I didn't make the right choices with my life. But I did what I felt I had to do, coming from where I did. I don't apologize for it. But because of my choices, you're like a suburban kid, grew up in a nice neighborhood, and what I didn't, maybe how I was with my father, my own father makes me no good with you. You're the first one who's gonna make it to college. And I'm proud of that. But maybe I don't show it. I don't know. I 
everyone wants me to be the straight guy from Seattle. I don't see how I can put you through college if I do that. But you leave now. This is how it's going to end between me and you, and maybe that's okay. But your sister, your mother, don't hurt them. Or yourself to get back at me. But if you're sure you think you can survive better by yourself, like I did, then I wish you luck, son. Bobby, are you all
Oh, God. Shawnee. I'm crying. I'm not. You don't think Sean will let you go to Seattle without him, do you, Susie? No way. <laughs> I'm not going. I can take that dog. I'm not going. <laughs> Going. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I hate that thing. The clothes you have on will get you there. You'll have an initial close purchase allowance. You won't have your driver's license and other ID for another six weeks. You're kind of legal with that entity right now. You'll be in limbo in a motel without a car, so I'll make sure it's within walking distance of a grocery store. Okay. Did you balance your per diem? Once you find an apartment, you get $1,800 a month stipend till you get a job. You're also going to get a furniture allowance and uh, three grand to purchase a car. Well, it's now or never, Bill. I mean, I think it's great. All you guys together. Really, I do. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I had these hidden. Got these by me? <laughs> Wasn't too hard. You can never write a caller. You understand that, right? Or any of your friends. Yeah. And this is for Debbie. It's goodbye. If you, if you could get it to her. You're making the right decision. You are. Hi, I'm Joan Cooper. Oh. Goodbye, Cynthia. O'Connor. Bad.
breathe of fresh air? Inspector, he's gonna meet you guys at the airport. He'll come by to see you uh, every day for the first month. Make sure everything stays straight. I'll try. That's it. Look, bro. Thanks. Bobby Bats. Bank, you're dead. Please. Right this way for us. 